Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on an unlimited Appalachian Advantage plan. Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. On Thursday, March 16th, SOAR hosted their Healthcare Career Pathway Fair at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. Over the course of the day, more than 600 Eastern Kentucky high school students learned about the various healthcare providers in the region and how they operate. The event also emphasized the different types of career opportunities these organizations are providing for the next generation of healthcare workers. So we gather, it's not really rocket science to gather a bunch of high school students and to say, hey, you know what? There are hospitals here seeking people, there are healthcare companies seeking people, and universities that can offer you these chances, these options and opportunities. Now, you, we can't force anyone to stay here, right? But if we can offer them the opportunity or to know the knowledge of like, hey, you know what, that actually sounded like a good idea, maybe I should stay. Maybe that might create an incentive for people, and especially the future generation, to stay within the mountains and provide more service and more care um, here in the mountains. Enriquez is happy to see the sheer number of students interested in working with local hospitals and care centers. Companies such as PMC, ARH, UPike, and King's Daughters are doing their part to help encourage more students to pursue medical careers. We have UPike, we have EKU, we have King's Daughters um, Hospital, PMC, Mountain Comprehension Care Center. We also have the University of Kentucky Action um, Group here. So we kind of have ties that of people that are willing to and have input so much of their time and investment to try to improve Eastern Kentucky and provide the health benefits for those who live here. We're just glad that all the students that are here are able to learn from people that live in their own backyard, that work for their people in the mountains. This is a fun environment for them to be at, and especially learning with their friends too. So it's not just forced in a classroom to learn about something, right? It's you and your peers, and then you can go off together after the fact and be like, so what was your favorite part? Um, I think that's, that's what builds a community, so yeah. Reporting from Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.